Hello and welcome to Cisco Vibe Extra. I am Jennifer Geisler, live from the Cisco Live Floor World of Solutions. And with me I have Kumar Shrikan. He is the VP of Scalable Network Business Unit. And one of the key products that we're hearing about from that business unit at the show is the Cala 6500s because there are new things going on and rocking and rolling with, that new, with the new product line for 6500. So Kumar, welcome. Thank you very much. And 6500, Cala 6500. What's going on and why are you doing it now? Well, isn't that an amazing thing, I know, right? It is. I think uh, you're right. First of all, I love the show. I think this show uh, this time is wonderful. It seems a lot bigger than last year. Way bigger, right? yes. And the fact that we are committed to the core, right? There's a lot of messaging back to our DNA of switching and routing and the messages coming out of John, out of Padma, are very you know, refreshing, I think, both to us as well as the overall community. Absolutely. Right? That's depending on us to actually take the networking infrastructure forward. So. I'm right there with you right, on that. Right. So in terms of 6K, you're absolutely right. Why 6K, why now? And I think a lot of customers, partners, even Cisco employees sometimes are surprised that we have made such a big investment to move the platform forward. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a very simple reason. We just listen to our customers, right? Oh, there you go. I mean, you know, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's no, no surprise the 6K has been a workhorse of land switching for like a decade, right? 1999 to it's like 12 years, right? Right. Uh, but uh, about three years ago, we had to make a very important decision should we stretch the 6K and deliver another round of investment protection with innovations, or do we pull the plug and just let other platforms pick up the slack, mm -hmm. right? But the, the message that came back from our customers is that they have a massive install base that they have invested in, they depend on the platform, which is extremely reliable. I call it the Toyota Camry <laughs> of switching, right? right? Extremely reliable, well thought through, well understood, highly, uh, 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 high value add for our customers in terms Absolutely. of the problems it solves, right, for them. Absolutely. And frankly, it's been everywhere, as you know, right? right? So we figured it made common sense to take care of our customers' investments and help them move forward and basically move into the borderless network architecture of the future. And that's why we made the investment. Yeah, and we right. maxed the platform out. And what is this, what is this new capability that you've introduced? So, so what we did is, as you know on the 6K, every two to three years, we would put out new supervisors and right. new technology that would redefine the platform. Right, in the old days, I used to call it like the Terminator, right? You have <laughs> Terminator 1, Terminator 2. When you upgrade the capability, that the switch becomes something different than what it was before but it still, it still preserves the spirit of investment protection, operational consistency, and minimizing operational management and change control, but deliver new capabilities and preserving the old infrastructure. So we, we modulate that well, and that's what we have done again, right? So we have brought in, we have tripled the performance, right? We used okay. to be 720 gig, as you know, it's mm -hmm. the marketing math, we used to call it <laughs> SOOP 720, now it's two terabits. So that's a lot of capacity yes, for mainstream is. deployment. Uh, we brought in rich services, you know, whether it is NetFlow, whether it is QoS, a lot of ACLs, all tying to security architecture, mobility architecture, how do you do end-to-end -end what we call network visibility, monitoring, and so forth, especially in this converged world where we are driving a lot of applications on the network, right? So we really pushed the envelope on those dimensions and brought in a new family of service modules. As you know, you know we've, the, the platform pioneered service modules way back in 2003. In fact, I launched it in yeah, 2003. Yeah, you did, yes you did. And now we have refreshed the entire portfolio and brought it up to the next level yet again. So you got an interesting play here where for a customer who bought a 6K in 1999, they can now take advantage of two terabits of bandwidth, the next generation security, mobility, application visibility, wireless, and load balancing converged services and capabilities, and have new network services to drive borderless architectures, 
as well as data center services in the data center oh, infrastructure. Right? Now, Kamar, you've talked a lot about what this means to the customer relates That's to Catalyst right. 6500, right? We have the investment protection. That's right. Catalyst 6500, it still rocks. It Innovation rocks. still continues. It's the bunny that keeps going. Yes, That's what one of the is. customers said, right? <laughs> the, the bunny that keeps going. That's exactly keeps right. Running. Now, so that's what it means to the customer. I'm going to put a twist on here. What's it mean for the competition? Because I know they were after the 6500. That's absolutely right. I think uh, I actually define 65, taking on the 6500 is like taking on Rome, okay? When you were in the <laughs> early sort of uh, part of the you know first century, it's a very difficult task because the 6500 does many things it's a Swiss army knife, as you mm -hmm. know, right? Because yes, of the investments is. we made over a decade. So we are carrying that investment profile forward, and we have strengthened the platform to be a bigger Swiss army knife with a lot more capabilities, but our competitors were chasing yesterday's 6500, which is Soup 720. Exactly. So all of a sudden, Soup 2T is here. We just redefined the game again. So it's going to be a tall order for them to try to attack the 6500 while they are also trying to go after the Nexus family in the unified fabric data center architecture. And you know, we have learned that the market is bifurcating, right? right? There's a lot of transformations and innovations happening at the data center, which is why we have a Nexus strategy. Yes. Similarly, there's a lot of transformations and innovations happening in the campus networks or the borderless networks, you know, mobility, security, energy-wise, media net, video, that it requires a different investment profile and we have the footprint. So for a vendor, any vendor to take on 6K and trying to get after the data center, they're going to have to decide. Are they going to fight in the data center or are they going to fight everywhere? And it's not that easy for anybody to take on, right, as the platform, so. You know, Kamar, I'm really excited about what you shared here today because it really redefines or re-emphasizes our commitment to core, which is Cisco's right. mainstay, That's and right. just this innovation. I mean, Catalyst is so important with over 700,000 units out there. That's right. And commitment to customer, commitment to innovation, but most importantly, commitment to core. That's right, that's so, right, absolutely. So, so I'm going to let you get back out there talking to our customers. As always, I love thank catching you very up much. with you. All right, thank, thank you. Thank you, Kumar. Excellent, thank you. So for Cisco 5 Extra, I'm Jennifer Geisler, signing off with Kumar Shrikant, talking about the latest innovations in Catalyst 6500 and how it's still the rocking platform for all of our customers. Thanks for watching.